Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. When well, I grow up, I wanna change, wanna change the world. world. We back like chiropractic. What's the word, Joe? It's your bro, DJ and Ted, back with another video. If you don't know anything about me, well, you may not know this about me. Um, I am an advocate for family channels. I love family channels. When it comes to family channels, like, I support. Most of the family channels on YouTube, I watch. Now, you know, Obviously, because we're a family channel, but I'm, I, I love families. You know what I'm saying? Ever since a kid, ever since I was a kid, I always wanted to have a big family. Now, me and my wife, we have five children. We may have one more. I just wanted to see if she was listening to me. She in the other room. <laughs> she ain't paying attention now. We, we, we done. We done out to five. This channel right here, um, Life Uncontained. I wouldn't necessarily say it's a family channel. Got an email coming through. But, um, uh, they are family now. Now, they, they didn't start off like that. I've been following them since the beginning of their journey. Like, these my 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 peoples. I feel like I know them. Shout out to Spencer. Spencer the truth. Um, but they're more of an off-the-grid lifestyle, lifestyle living channel. But in the process of them developing their off-the-grid home, they had children, which I thought was so beautiful, yo. Um, this is their latest episode. I've watched them from... from the first video till now. You don't know who they are, go look them up. Life Uncontained, they have a really dope channel. They, they specialize in living off the grid. They built their own off the grid home out of two shipping containers. They did all the work themselves, except for a few small things that they, they couldn't do themselves. But everything else, everything that you see, they've done themselves. Now they've completed their off the grid home. Now they're building a off the grid cabin for like guests or like the guest house. And this is their latest video. I haven't got a chance to look at it yet. So I'm gonna jump into it, man. This is this is one of my favorite channels on YouTube. So let's jump into it, yo. Got me a little chili. Little homemade chili from my wife. Shout out my wife with the homemade chili, yo. Like my wife, I talked about it on the Wingstop video. If you ain't seen the, the video where we reviewed the Wingstop chicken sandwich, go check it out. But I talked about the women in my family. And the women in my family can cook. We are blessed. The men in our family, we're blessed. As you can see, this is a hearty uh, bowl of homemade uh, ground chicken or ground turkey, honey? Ground turkey. We don't eat beef or pork, so I'm going to be eating this while we watch this. This is my time to myself, so let's kick it. All the frames are coming along nicely. This is going to be a lot of window. Now this is Mackenzie. She is the wife of Spencer. Spencer's one of my favorite people. And she's been along this journey. She does a lot of the painting and the, uh, when it comes to like the, the, um, the touch up stuff, she does that. I've seen like a lot of the planning and prep work she's done behind the scenes. She's a very adequate part of this channel and, and how they've been able to be successful with off the grid living. He only has one more window frame left and the front door frame as well. And that's it, right? Uh, then we can start cutting. Yeah. As you can see, Spencer has on one of their shirts for their merch. Go support their merch. 
um, life uncontained. I think so. But like, these things look huge. Especially the bedroom, the master bedroom area. It's pretty much like all window, which is what we wanted. Yeah. Because you're just gonna be able to see woods all around you. That's one thing that was really important to us was being that this is obviously, I think technically a tiny home. Yeah, but, definitely. Yeah, so a very, very small space. We wanted there to be tons of windows so it didn't feel quite as small. Yeah, and whenever we have guests, we want it to feel like kind of a vacation. Right. Like you're saying, a cool little vacation Something spot. different. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be awesome. Like I said, this is gonna be their guest cabin. And uh, they got a huge property, man. They take really good care of the property. Plenty of land. Definitely, if they were my friends, I would want to go out there and kick it with them on their property, ride the four wheelers, man. They got a lake out there. Super cool, man. I'm kind of like a country bunker myself, you know. <laughs> I would be being be in the country every every summer when I would get out of school as a as a kid. My mom would send me down to Tennessee. My grand, my uh, auntie, she had like this two acre property, so we would be down there just kicking it. So, yeah, country life is my kind of life. I'm still a city slicker too, though. And part of my voice, I have been sick, so that's why I sound so fun right now. He's the only one that hasn't been sick. He has like an amazing immune system, apparently. It's because I don't use hand sanitizer. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm just trying to imagine a tiny bedroom with a wall of windows. Yeah, in this, this room, there's going to be more window than there's wall. Right, but there will be a closet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and most likely it's going to be filled with solar equipment. Right, well, this is a, a guest house, so. Spencer mentioned solar. They are completely off the grid, completely independent of the grid. They, co <clears throat> they collect their own rainwater. All of the houses, uh, all of their electronics are powered through solar. And uh, they hooked all that stuff up, man. They definitely a good example of what off the grid living should look like. There will be storage, under, lately. <laughs> will be storage under the bed. But yeah. Right. <laughs> Please, anybody that comes to visit us, though, I feel like it's more about being outside anyway. Yeah. So this is just your area to hang out and sleep. Right. At least that's our thought process. Whenever we go somewhere, we like to be outside more. Right. <laughs> Spencer does it all itself, man. Spencer is the truth. Spencer the truth. Like, I be getting building ideas from him. You know, I, I work with my hands a lot. So to seeing, a, seeing another guy who, who good with his hands, you know what I'm saying, can build stuff, pick it up in his head first, plan it out and map it out, design it, and then create it, bring it to life, you know, much respect. So this year I was definitely slacking with Halloween and I didn't decorate till like right before, but I will not make that mistake with Christmas. <laughs> so we're gonna start decorating. Present, present. Yeah, baby presents. I'd like to put the tree over in the dining room just cause there's more space there, but having little ones, you guys know, you have to kind of like barricade them off from the tree. Amen. So this is our well, best option for that. It's socks. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it's socks, it's a stocking. <laughs> I just, I can't believe it's that time of the year again. Hi. I think this tree might be a little too big for this room. <laughs> we have to find another home for the telescope. You got one, Cam? <laughs> We're gonna have a ball. Bye. As I said, when they started the channel, they didn't have any children. So it's beautiful to see how they've grown to a beautiful family man. And uh, they have a, a, a nice place to uh, to house the children. <laughs> Out on the tree. Me here. I have a feeling the tree's gonna come tumbling down. Cheese? Yeah. Oh no, I hope not. Cheese. <laughs> One, two, three. Wow. Wow. That's beautiful. You know what? 
I don't know if this music is copyrighted or not. So I'm going to fast forward a little bit. I don't want to get copyrighted. Usually the music they, they use, I do believe, is uh, it's, uh, royalty-free music. But I don't want to get yellow marked. So let's fast forward. Maybe it might, it's probably going to be a little dark in here at the current moment, but as soon as we cut this big old window out, all our lighting concerns should be out the window. So. <laughs> so you'll be able to see everything. Yeah, you'll be able to see everything. Was that pun intended? No, it wasn't. <laughs> Time for Spencer to do some grinding. <laughs> Are you getting to the grinder? Yeah. Uh, it's harder to control and it's heavy, but it does, it cuts so much more and so much faster and you go through blades a lot. Of, not as fast. Their edgy comedy is pretty funny too. Like uh, when they were building the home, Spencer has to do, he had to do a lot of caulking and they would take time and make a joke out of that. I like their edgy comedy. Gotcha. All right, let's do it. All right, why do we have to do the biggest one first? Because it's the one that we can't really mess up. Why would you say that? Now we we'll definitely get the best of <laughs> <sighs> Wake up. Why don't you put a little makeup? <laughs> Is that how it goes? <laughs> you got this. We are definitely maxing out the size of this window over here. It is literally from the edge of the corner to the edge of the corner. Like, we, we could not make this any bigger. Too much. Go up. It's just barely under. Uh, tiny bit more. There we go. <laughs> this is like impossible to nudge up a 16th of an inch. Like how heavy this is, it's a lot more. Yeah, 16th. There you go. See, I was saying they work together, man. It's it's dope to see them working together to build build these homes, man. It's it's like, you know, when I think about me and my wife, like when a husband and wife are on one accord, yo, that's that's a beautiful thing to see. Ooh, but it looks good. Uh, go up a 16. Wait, <laughs> why? Uh, why do we do so many windows? <laughs> it's good? Yeah, but now we gotta get the sudden side measurement. Oh my god. Yeah, it's definitely far, too far to the right. Yeah. Well, I feel like you should probably do that first. They're transparent too. Like they made a lot of mistakes um, as far as their build, because um, they were they were learning. I might have to speed it up because I gotta get my baby and clean her up. She, I think she's done with her her lunch. Um, but they they're very transparent about the mistakes that they made along the journey during their build, and uh, like like they'll they'll do something and and they'll explain like, yo, we're still learning. And it's all educational purposes. So somebody like me or you who's coming behind them doing the same kind of work, they're helping us to, to not make those same mistakes. And I love that. It's like each one teach one is passing on that knowledge. Ready? Yep. How confident are you that this is all in the right spot? No, going back after this. About 46%. <laughs> That's not very good. No, I'm, I'm confident. <laughs> It's gonna be so weird having blue cutouts. Amazing. And shout out Kenzie, man. Like her camera angles, like she really, like she's really purposeful about her camera angles. Like, like if you go back and watch some of their their previous videos, like. The, the image, the, the the angle she catch, like the the different the different camera angles that she she would pick out, and her editing skills, like she she's dope. So it's it's by far no rookie amateur channel. Believe that the editing and the angles are up there. Trailblazing, I won't let you tell me no. Tell me no. Hey. Again, I'm gonna fast forward because I don't know if this music is copyrighted music. Uh, well, whenever you're doing cutouts on these containers, uh, sometimes the metal will flex because obviously it's structure, and when it flexes, it pinches the blade, and when it pinches the blade, it like explodes the blade one, or at least part of it, and two, it causes the locking nut to just 
crank down. Well, I couldn't get this locking nut off. I cranked and cranked and cranked. Um, finally, I did get it off, but I think I was cranking so hard that it just destroyed the motor or something. So it won't, it won't even won't even turn on. So. Oh gosh. Now, okay. And you're almost done with the window. Are you able to use the other grinder? I can, but that back wall is just so the ridges and valleys are so deep that uh -huh. I'd have to kind of like hit it at certain angles. And it's just like I'm not even gonna fuss with it. Okay. Well, on the upside, you look great. <laughs> have you seen yourself? They're very encouraging to one another. Since Spencer does all the work, well, most of the work, Kenzie helps. But she's really encouraging to him because obviously, one, he's learning as he goes. And then two, the work is hard. You know, and then I believe they're in Texas and I've seen them have videos where they're working through the the hottest of the hot days in the summer. You know, Spencer's face is, is red, his whole, his body is red, so... You know, she's really encouraging to him because of, you know, how hard he works and, and what he does for his family. Oh, oh yeah, I look fun. <laughs> You've been working hard. All right, you want to shower? Yeah. Looks like a storm's rolling in. Looks like my video is a little choppy too. I'm using OBS Streamlabs, so I may have to, uh, after this video, go in and tweak some of the settings, but it ain't bad. You wanna say hi? Say hi. Say hi. I'm don't eat that. We haven't had a good rain in a long time. So hopefully it'll fill up our tanks Love a little you. bit more. I think I just missed those. Uh, so their water container. So those are their their catch containers for the, their water. Well, obviously those are their uh, panels, solar panels. And these are these. Did I pass it? There it is. Those are the catch containers for their water. So they collect their own water. They have a septic system built in, and they collect their own water and filter it. All of that good stuff. They shower with it, and and it's so good to see them when they got to this point to where they were able to take a shower in their home because they had a makeshift shower for so long. When they finally got their shower installed and built, I was rooting for them. I was like, yeah, you guys can take a nice shower now. Um, the shower that was makeshift, it was it was heated. like It wasn't like a rinky thing shower, but when they got an official shower, got the water and all of that going, I was rooting for them, man. This lightning is insane. It is just constant. We currently have a tornado running. After seeing this, knowing Spencer, I guess knowing him from watching this channel for so long, I got a feeling he's going to build a tornado shelter one day. Like, because he's got all the tools. He's He's got the, the lifts to, to dig down into the ground and stuff. I bet you that may be one of his next projects after they're done with this, this uh, guest sleeping cabin. If, if not, Spencer, it would be dope if you do that. So yesterday, Spencer got a new grinder so he can work on finishing that cutout today and hopefully get some more done. It's definitely a long process, but... As long as I don't break another one. Yeah, as long as you don't break another one. And when he was out, he also ordered all of the windows for the cabin. Yeah, and I, we're gonna be without... I forgot how long it takes for windows to be manufactured, so... Right. Yeah, so there's still a good bit of stuff to do before we even get to that point, but at least they're ordered and on their way. Yeah. collected and bought all the tools over the years he's needed to uh to complete these bills and i i must remind you come on back he had no experience like he learned how to do all this stuff as he went he a lot of studying a lot of research 
please go back and look at some of their videos and check out the final build of their home. Even look at the journey up to the to the completion. Like you have a newfound respect for this couple, I tell you, and their family. What are you doing? So I don't get metal shaving all over my neck. Darling, are you gonna be able to see? Yeah. You kind of look like a thumb. Like a thumb? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cutest thumb I ever saw. <laughs> Seriously, you look like a hairy thumb with your beard and your eyebrows. <laughs> There's that edgy comedy, I told you. Again, copyrighted music, I'm gonna fast forward it. Let's see. Oh, okay, but seriously, don't chop off my toes. Oh my God, okay. One inch at a time. Told you, Kenzie don't play. She get her hands dirty. Hell too. no! This is gonna chop my fingers off. I got it. Okay. No, no, no. Try going from the bottom. Right. Oh, that's not good. Baby, it's really wobbly. Baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, why didn't we do the biggest one first? Like, I'm rusty. We haven't done this in years. Gotta rip the band aid off. Gotta rip the band aid off. Alright, I'm gonna fast forward closer to the end for time purposes. Spencer's welding. Do right feel no man. Alright, so usually when you start hearing this music come in, it's letting you know that it's the end of the video, which is dope because I actually got that idea from them. If you go back and listen to any of our videos or watch it, watch any of our videos, you'll you'll hear a certain beat that comes on close towards the end of the video that lets you know that the Dan Dan say hi. That lets you know that the video is wrapping up. So it's wrapping up now. Uh, go check out Life Uncontained, yo. They have a really dope YouTube channel. They talk about family. They show their their kids. They also um, focus on teaching and and showing you how to avoid the same mistakes that they made doing their build. So I'm all about family channels. Um, I'm all about families. So I thought it was be fitting to check out the latest episode with you guys. So go like their channel. Go subscribe. Go drop a comment. You feisty today. And uh, check them out once again. It's been another video. Um, I'm gonna be doing another one shortly with the boys once they get home from school. We're gonna be reviewing the new Sonic trailer, which I'm excited about. So remember, integrity matters the most. Remember, don't put that in your mouth. Remember, integrity matters the most when you're all by yourself. God bless you. I love you. Hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Peace.